frugal friends. Hey, Ross World, my money makes money. I like when my friends are thinking the way I'm thinking. We're like, man, how much is it to go over there in a the cab? $20? Well, how much is the bus? $2, but man, we get in a cab and have AC and we probably get there a lot quicker. Are we pressed for time? No. Nah. Get on the bus. We didn't say $18. Now you say, well, you can split the cab. You right. But say, for instance, the cab is $20. You got to pay $10 a piece. And then you subtract $2 for the bus. I still save $8. It's sometimes good to have frugal friends. It's sometimes good to have frugal friends. Because frugal friends are going to keep you in check. And then you're going to keep those frugal friends in check too. Because sometimes all of us get the bug. <laughs> All of us get that book where we want to splurge. We want to spend a lot of money on the little things that we really don't need to, okay? Now, I have a couple of friends that I know. I will tell them, hey, man, you know you can get that on eBay for cheaper. Or, man, you can get that on Amazon for cheaper. Or you can get that on Overstock for cheaper. You can go on New Egg and get that for cheaper. Nah, man, I want it right now. I'm like, a day or two is going to hurt you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not going to hurt you, man. It's not going to hurt you. It's okay. If you're trying to buy a product and you can get it for cheaper online or maybe in the department store on clearance or discount or sale, you have to have frugal friends to reinforce the way you actually operate. Because if you are in the mindset that you want to have substantial wealth at a particular age, how are you going to get there? And we talked about it before. Lower your expenses or quite frankly, cut off some expenses or delete them, okay? Never had those expenses. But a lot of times, we need a support group. Just like people who are addicted to alcohol or addicted to drugs or addicted to gambling. Some of us, we have a spending problem. Some of us have a spending problem and we need a support group to help us. We call those frugal friends. Those friends are going to back you up. Those friends are going to help you like, nah, man, that's way too expensive. Let's walk down the street and get that somewhere else. Or how about, hey, man, I got it over my house. You can use mine. How many times that happened to you where you wanted to use something, some sort of item, and your friend said, nah, man, I got it at my house. You can use mine. Then some of us, we're kind of like bougie, like, nah, man, I want my own. But you're only going to use it one damn time. You're only going to use it one damn time. I mean, really, are you that bougie? Are you that bougie? Now, and this is another thing. Do not be afraid to take something from somebody. Now, case in point, you have a new baby. You have a new baby. Whether it's male or female, you know, you and your wife, you and your husband, you guys are expecting. And you got to buy all these things now. You had your baby shower. You put your list down. You need a stroller. You need Infamil, whatever. All these things, right? You need a bib, etc. Clothes and shoes. So somebody's going to come to you and they give you all these clothes and shoes, but your bougie ass like, nah, I don't want that. I don't want that. Your baby been in that. I mean, uh, you can't wash it. Really? You can't wash it. How many times your underwear had blood in it? How many times, dog, did your underwear have pee in it and you wash it and you still wore it? Well, you saying that's your pee? You saying that's your blood? I got you. But let's really think about it. If you wash it two or three times, I mean, does it really matter? It's free clothes. It's free equipment. It's free whatever it is. Don't be afraid to have somebody invest in your life. And that means giving you shit that you was going to go pay for. But you think you all that and you got to go get it yourself. No, I want it brand new. No, I told you before, Ross World, I buy shit refurbished. I buy things used. Now, when it comes to certain items, I want it to be certified refurbished, okay? Coming from the factory who actually makes it. That way, I have a warranty on it in case it breaks down. That's on certain items. But you're talking about real personal items like food or clothes or something like that. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to be frugal. Now, some of you are saying, well, there's a thin line between frugal and cheap. It is. And we talked about cheap. Cheap is... When you look at a product, and you probably even know the name, and you know, man, that's some cheap shit. Don't buy that. But you'll end up buying it because it's cheap, knowing in the back of your head, if I tweak it, if I torque it outside of its specs or whatever case it is, it's going to break. It's going to fade. It's going to tarnish. Whatever it is, 
being frugal is buying a solid product and sometimes even an expensive product on extreme discount, on sale, okay, on clearance, okay? You look for those sales, you look for those deals, for those things you need. Wait for it. Not once. Not once. Because if you want to save some money, if you want to be smart with your money, then you save your money for that thing that you want. You just don't go splurging. Is it part of your budget? Did you let aside, did you put aside some of that money in order to buy that item? I know I do. I know I do. And guess what it does? It does not hurt my day-to-day -day operation. It does not hurt my month-to-month -month operation because we have all these expenses, right? Cable and internet, and satellite TV and car notes and car insurance and uh, daycare and karate practice and self-defense classes and doing your nails every two weeks and getting your hair done every month and your eyebrows. And I, when I say some of these things, I get manicures, okay? I get manicures, so I'm not just talking about females here, guys, because I know some of you guys do too. Because, well, if you're not getting a manicure and you're doing it yourself, you cut an expense. I will probably need to learn how to do it myself. Now, some of you guys out there, you're walking like you got coal on the bottom of your feet. You probably don't get a pedicure or have your wife or significant other to do it if they're willing to touch your feet. My wife don't touch my feet. Anytime I put my feet on her, she run. And my feet ain't even that bad with socks on. <laughs> but anyway, the point I'm making is it's good to have frugal friends. It's good to have frugal family members. Frugal family members, the ones who want to help you out and save you a buck. This is Ross Worldwide. This is a general conversation between me and you about being frugal and having that frugal support group, them friends and family, to keep that mindset of obtaining wealth throughout your life, not just in retirement. I know I say it a lot, but not just in retirement because you want to live, you want to have fun, but live and have fun and choose when to be frugal and when to cut your expenses or don't spend none of your damn money at all. But it's always good to have those people backing you up saying, yeah, that's a good buy. That's really discounted. That's really on sale. Or you really don't need it. I got it. I'll give it to you. Or you can use it. Don't be bougie. Don't be bad and bougie. Mumble rap. This is Ross World. I'm out.